That's fine. Ass is a healthy name. Ass is featuring ass and tail. <laughs> it changes the title screen. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, so. We 1991. Are now in 19. This is the NES at the height of its popularity, but also where it starts to wane because the Super Nintendo came out and people don't want no more 8 bit games. But this is time for Jalico to pull out all the stops to really release the best games that they can. So they start with another Bases Loaded! Bases Loaded, Danny is real angry at baseball. <laughs> Texas. Yeah, if you like baseball, the NES got you covered. We've played, what, five baseball games it just from this one publisher? This one publisher. We have played so... Oh my god, Paul Ryan versus LaCroix! <laughs> Holy shit! The match of the millennium, they called it. Can of LaCroix versus... Jesus, no, no. I'm striking out. Uh, Electric Boogaloo claims that this is a 1993 U.S. release and not a 1991. Ah, oh, dang. Well, GameFAQs was wrong then. Well, you maybe can they meant to, to suck it. <laughs> maybe they meant the Japanese version. Let's not tell GameFAQs to suck it. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's. They're don't a valued do that. partner. Yeah, legit. Actually, do not do not harass any of the fine folks at GameFAQs for reals. That's, that's hey, here's a difference. I can't hit the freaking ball on this one. And also, the dude's making crazy pitches. All right, three strikeouts in a row. What I want to do, and what we want to see, is what the field looks like. So, computer, why don't you hit the ball? All right, same as bases loaded three. So they they know what works. Oh, look, you can see your fielders on the screen as well. Oh, I like that. That helps. So that's how bases loaded ends on NES. Not with a bang, but with an out. <laughs> It's not bad, but Bases Loaded 3 is pretty much the same game. Just whatever you do, don't play 2. Nobody needs to play Bases Loaded 2. Hey, you like ninjas? Is Judge... No. <sighs> not Judge Amaru. Oh no, I'm seeing a lot of shit that I don't, I don't know if I, I'm ready for. This is a port of a C64 game, common for Jalico at this point. Oh my god. But what isn't common really... is the developer they picked for this. Bert, Ernie, Barney, Fred, Stan, Oliver, hello Marco, and Rex. This is by Beam Software in Australia, who we covered a few weeks ago. And this is one of the few computer ports that they had to make for NES, and guess what, it's not great. I mean, it looks pretty cool, I guess. Oh, it looks okay. I feel like you two are just having a conversation, but I guess you're just... Quiet. Yeah, I'm just like nodding. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, sounds good, yeah. sounds good. Oh my god, to jump you have to hit A and B together. Oh god, he woke up. Can you go back to sleep? Yeah, I'm putting him back to sleep. <laughs> I just noticed my power meter in the lower left. Look how exciting it is. It has an exclamation mark. Oh my god, it does. Power. I was gonna say, read him my post, then he'll fall right to sleep. <laughs> I don't need no key. This music. This fucking music is so Commodore 64. Oh my god, that lovely Ninja Park. Yeah, welcome to Ninja Park. This is actually Central Park. You're a ninja brought from medieval times to modern day New York. There we go. I guess all things considered, this port could be worse, but it's still not anything you'd want to play. Not back then and not now. Do I have to... I have to kick this guy's ass first. And this is what the fighting is like. Yeah, you just kind of stand right in front of each other and keep punching. There. Better hurry out, his power's coming back. Oh, here we go. The shittiest part of the game. This is the part that everyone hates. Look at that. I jumped right on the freaking boat. You only got four lives left, honey. <laughs> you think I could do this in four lives? You know, I think you can. I forget if it's early or late. Three. Let's try late this time. Nope. 
I was right on it. Mm -hmm. The splashing sprite went right through the boat. Try Ninja early. has a life left. Try super early, fuck it. <laughs> There's no way. This is impossible and fake and... Um... I only have zero lives left. Okay. Unbelievable. Supposedly it's possible to beat that part. I've never seen it, so I don't believe it. Nah, it's fake. That's the last ninja from Beam Software. Well, there's other ninjas, luckily. There's okay. this one. Oh, that guy! Mm hmm Let's... what do I want to do? I want to do the U.S. prototype version of that game. Now, once again, Ninja Jajimaru almost got released in the U.S. in 1991 as Squashed. Oh yeah, this is another game that uh, Whoop Von Whoop uh, runs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the one. Now you can also be his lady friend, Cory, Or you can take a chance. Let's do it. That's actually kind of interesting. Yeah. Who are we gonna be? Is it... which... Oh! We're the lady. Now this game has a resemblance to a much more popular game. See if you can spot it. It's mostly in that life bar at the bottom. This... oh my god. You were heavily inspired by Mario 3 for this game. Oh, just a little bit. Just, just a bit. Now, I said Wampum was good a few minutes ago, but this game is actually even better. It plays pretty great. I kind of like this. You get all these different power-ups, including this one that lets you jump in mid-air. There's others that let you spin all over the place and have projectiles and stuff like that. It's also got kind of a momentum to it, the gameplay, so it plays a little bit like a modern Sonic game. Well, not a modern Sonic game, but, you know, the good ones. Cool moves. And yeah, that's the core mechanic. That's the B button. You hold that down and you start running, and you run fast. That's the ninja's superpower. Good superpower. I love when I run fast. So does that mean Sonic's a ninja? Oh, I guess so. I hadn't thought of it that way. I got a lot of questions for Sonic. I I do too. There. I love those cool screen wavy effects that Jalico uses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at this point, the graphics really started to look decent in video games, and the gameplay started to catch up as well. Believe it or not, this is a Tosei game. What? Remember that one Tosei Jajimaru game that was basically just dragon power, but even worse? This, yeah. This is what they were doing just a few years later. So either they got better, or Jalico started paying them more. Either one, the results paid off. I do agree, this does need, uh, this does need proper Friday time. It does. Yeah, this is a mascot platformer, isn't it? Maybe we should do Jalico mascot platformers next, uh, this Friday. My god, I think there's actually enough where we could do that. Oh shit! RIP! Anyway, yeah, it's a neat game, and if you want to see it played well, go to friend of the show Whoop Von Whoop's channel. She mm -hmm. plays it sometimes. You can beat this game really quick. I think the speedrun is like 10 or 15 minutes. Oh wow. And it's decently fun. One of the better Jalico games, for sure. You know what else is one of the better Jalico games? Tsuru Pika Hagemaru Mezase... Yeah. That game. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I already like this intro. Ah, oh, Jalico! Cool intro! Wow, that's classy. That's really nice. What the fuck? That's too nice for Jalico. Oh! That is cool as hell! Jalico is the world! That's not... they're not wrong. I don't know what this is, but I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. First there was Jalico, then there was the Earth. Then there was this guy. This is a text adventure, isn't it? Man, I want to watch that pig channel. Oh yeah, what's on pig TV? Turns out it's pigs. <laughs> it's the pig calling competition again. This is this is a text adventure game. I'm just well, gonna skip through all this dialogue only to find out it's a text adventure game. It's part text adventure. Okay. It's not according to uh, Arnold Rimmer. It's part text adventure. 
But there is platforming too. Oh. Mm, let's speed up. I want to see the platforming. There's a there's no translation of this game, but there is a uh, playthrough on YouTube with trans with subtitles. So. Oh, nice. I love those videos where people translate uh, untranslated games. There's very few of those, but I like when that happens. Alright, good luck, Danny. Let's go here. Oh my no, I don't want to talk to the park. I want to I want to jump around. How about the pyramid here in the middle of town? Certainly we can jump around at the pyramid. <laughs> it's Dragon Quest slimes with eyebrows. I, I and was a weird cat say, slime. I, I do like the cat slime. Yeah. Wait, I'm Hage Maru. Is that related to Jaja Maru? Yeah, it's it's uh, Jaja Maru's uh, hog cousin. <laughs> Why do you think you were watching all that ho that pig TV? Come on now. I want to live in the hog world. God, don't we all? Just go to Planet Jalico. It's where all the that's where all like the pig TV and the pig people live. This lady's talking about Koro Koro comics. I don't have time for that. I got platforming to do. Okay, there's no platformer here. There's got to be. Okay, Arnold Rimmer told you what to do. Is go to the city on the left. We'll do that. Oh right damn now. it! <laughs> well, well, it doesn't matter because we're about to play a much better game. Oh my god, this game. This Natsume. Is, this is a Natsume game, or Natsume. <laughs> Natsume. I get really excited when I see Natsume. Makers of Shadow of the Ninja on NES, as well as many other quality games, and this is one of their better ones. Like, all you do is punch in this game, but look at how far dudes fly back when you hit them. It just... this is a game that really makes you feel like the punches are powerful. Oh! Like I know this game! I recognize this... I recognize this song! Yeah, hold on. Oh yeah, I'm, the, uh, the Doc Future remix. Yeah, is, I'm getting Doc Future remix of this, hold on. Now you get gold in this game, so you can buy power-ups. Right now, I got, uh, the strength power-up which turns your jacket red. Alright, I'm grabbing this. I suppose you can think of this game as Jalico's take on NES Batman, because it's very similar. There's a lot of punching. There's also exclusive stuff to this game, like this little helper character you get. There's a whole bunch of different combinations of power-up icons you can pick, and each one gives you a different character. And you can cling to uh, stuff in the background, too. Yeah, this song's great. That's good. Now, sure, we've seen a lot of platformers so far, but this is one of the better ones, in my opinion. Do check out Shatterhand if you're unfamiliar. And it was released in the States! They released a good game over here. Instead of another bases loaded. <laughs> Think about it. They could have they could have released three bases loaded games for the budget this game had. I don't know what they were thinking. Oh no, your thing can die. That sucks. I thought you could find the background. Yeah. It's all kinda of neat stuff in this game. Just what it does is very simple, but super polished tend to appreciate that kind of thing in these 8-bit games. Where they know what they're gonna do, they're just putting everything they have into it. Like, make the punches feel really powerful if you're just gonna punch. It makes sense. It does. You can take that to the bank. The punch bank. <laughs> this game was also released in Japan as Soul Brain, and it's mostly the same, only one of the levels is entirely different. And it was also a Sentai tie-in. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, according to that Arnold Zimmer. Uh, there was evidence in uh, the original, in the Japanese version, that this was all. It was originally meant to be Shatterhand and not like the tie-in that it was. Oh, okay. So it's one of those cases where they made it for the U.S. first and then just uh, mm -hmm. ported it over. Yeah, that happens sometimes. It's mostly the other way around, as we've seen on this stream, but that sometimes happens. Yeah, Uzi. These, uh, the backgrounds definitely remind me of the Batman uh, NES game, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say they were definitely inspired by Batman, but it plays really well. Ooh. Do check out Shatterhand. It's, it's good. 
Or the Japanese version if you have to play a level that takes place in a circus. Listen. Of course I do. <laughs> of course. Some people just gotta have circuses in their game. This looks so good. Doesn't it? Man, yes. I just love this kind of graphic style. That Same. kind of grainy look to it. Mm -hmm. So good. Oh, but I can only play ten more seconds of this. Alright, here you go. Better make it count. Ten. Wait, no, God. Five, four, three, two, one. Punch! Done. No, no. Okay, I punched the dude. I'm gonna keep making this noise. Okay, we gotta quit. We gotta quit. That's Shatterhand. It's real good. Alright, the last couple years we're gonna squish together into one final magnificent 15 minute segment. Okay. This is Jalico in 1992 and 1993. Yeah, you all know it's 93 too. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, everyone had moved over to Super Nintendo, and the smart people had moved over to Sega Genesis. But, Jalico chose Super Nintendo. That's the bed they made, they had to lie in it. Still, they had a few NES games left in them, including... Cyberball. Cyberball, really? You know balls. Oh, I absolutely do. I know Balls 3D, um, <laughs> I know Faceball, definitely. I guess I know Cyberball now. Uh-huh. This is kind of a strange release for 92 because this is actually an 87, 88 arcade game from Atari. And if you've ever seen the cabinet for this game, you'll remember it because it's this kind of... It uses multiple screens, but it has like a divider between them. Really distinct looking. And anyway, the big thing is your robot's playing football. Because God knows Jalico didn't make enough sports games for the NES. No, no. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, I forgot who asked in chat, but you were asked if you played Omicron, that that newer game. Om Omicron? Uh, Omicron? I'm sorry. It, it scrolled by really fast. Um, and the David Cage game? <laughs> no, 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 not the, not the. Maybe the David Cage game. I don't fucking know. Um. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say you meant Oniken. Oniken. Okay, yeah, Chad is spamming Oniken at me and just being like, oh my god. I, I actually have not played Oniken. It looks Oniken. cool, though. That's another uh, side-scrolling action game in the vein of Shatterhand. Yeah, it's it's Oniken. I will not be playing Omicron, thank you. That's... <laughs> if you're interested in seeing a playthrough of Omicron, a super great friend on YouTube actually started up a playthrough recently. And it seems pretty good so far. I do like the voice samples. Yeah, the voices are neat. And uh, I gotta say, this works much better as an arcade game because you can really see the detail on the players. The big thing is that some of these are these hulking robots while others have tank treads. Just a lot of neat character designs that don't come across here on NES. So that's unfortunate, but mm -hmm. on the plus side, it's another sports game from Jalico. Listen, gotta have as many of those as possible. Oh, really? Well, here's another one. Cool, which one? Ah, goal! Two. Two. <laughs> that is so fucking lazy. It says you. Oh, come on. Really? I'm trying to act like I want to start up a campaign here. Oh, no, we don't. Yeah, I'm going to be my boys from Holland once again. And we're going to take on Poland. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Krunglin. Look who's goal too. <laughs> I do like I do like goal too. That's that's yes. really good. Oh, it's a shame we canceled the Super Nintendo portion of this program because I had a little bit of it planned. Uh, the Super Nintendo goal game was just called Goal, and apparently they realized they missed out on a huge opportunity because the sequel was called Super Goal too. <laughs> That's like the easiest thing to get right. Call it Super Goal, and they didn't do it. I do like the running sequences there. That's quite nice. I'm glad Bases Loaded is also advertising the soccer game too. Mm -hmm. Very good. And Rival Turf as well. Another <laughs> one of our uh, personal favorites. Okay, I love Rival Turf. Rival Turf is a beat 'em up where you can rename every character in the game, including the enemies and the bosses. We should do another run through of those where we rename everyone. We should. Yeah, that was fun. The one time we did that. I gotta say, the graphics are much better in this one, and the gameplay seems to be pretty good as well. This isn't just a quickly produced sequel. Yeah, this is... I, I dare I say it, this looks good. 
one of the better looking Jalico sports games. I love that all of my dudes run away from the ball instead of getting hit. That's my favorite feature of any soccer game this year, I think. I think my favorite thing, because the World Cup's going on now, my favorite thing about the World Cup is when the soccer very slowly is in the air. Yeah, yeah. rival turf, bases loaded. Other games you should be playing instead of this one. <laughs> it's not bad. All right, what's You next? know what's good, though? Pizza. Oh, I fucking love pizza. Uh-huh. Domino's, can I take your order? Have some fun with Miku. <laughs> so this game, this game has a shit ton of personality. Like that look at that cat! cat. Look at that cat. <laughs> I love that cat. The backgrounds in this game are just fucking wild. You gotta hot, see this. Hot take. This reminds me of uh, Panic Restaurant a little bit. It's very similar, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's even got a food theme to it. Yeah, look at that. I Dude's like that working guy. out in the streets. I love that guy. Diner with neon signs behind windows for some reason. They were smart. Oh man! man. Hell yeah! I want to work out to a busker. This is, a, this is a good gif to capture right here, especially with the dude tapping his feet. Oh, I love that. In terms of gameplay, this isn't anything special. All you do is run to the right, jump, and whack stuff with your pizza box. I have but, never heard of pizza pops until today. But really, do you need anything more than this? It's got those sassy cats. I love those sassy cats. Cats are just like, hey, buddy. I cut their normal cats until they see you have pizza and then they make cat a weird cat face. Because that <laughs> yeah. is absolutely what cats would do. 100%, yeah. Cats love pizza. Oh, you can't run for too long. You get winded. That's kind of weird. Well, it's like true to life. I would like to play more of this on Mascot Friday, I think. I think I like the way this game looks, and I'm curious to see if it plays as well. Well, we gotta do that Jalico Mascot Friday, either this Friday or another Friday. That's Whoa, Hula Hoop Girl! Wow, I got wrecked. Yeah, Pizza Pop. One of the lesser-known Famicom platformers, but check it out, because, man, it is wild looking. Again, hope to play more of this and find out if it's actually good. I hope it is. What's Plasma Ball? Oh, it's, it's got oh, there's that, that cool intro again. Jalico, yeah. Is Jalico going to turn into the Earth again? Oh, God. It's, it's going to turn into a ball. Yes! Yes! Okay, that's the best intro trend I have ever seen in my life. That is great. Okay, this looks like a very interesting game. There's a quest mode. That's interesting. But just let's, let's see what this is, first of all. One of these late-era Jalico games no one ever talks about. This is so interesting. Ah. Uh, My name is, ah. Uh, it always is. Alright. Let's fight. Oh my god. Yeah, let's fight this guy. Seems good. What kind of game do you think this is? I want to say it's an Arkanoid clone. That's a good guess. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Alright, there was a bunch of people fighting, and then they decided not to, because we were a oh couple of God. robots who were going to no, do the fighting. No, this is... this is... this is dodgeball? This seems like an odd little sports game to me. Uh, you gotta do something with the ball? Maybe toss it into the spikes? Maybe toss it into your opponents, or on the... I don't know. This is a weird one. Does anybody know about... Tell me more about Plasma Ball, if anyone knows. Uh, this seems cool. It's really fast. I like that. Okay, you can bonk with your shield. I assume you want to do that with the, uh, the ball. And occasionally that thing in the middle opens up and gives you power-ups. This seems alright. weird. I just never had heard of this. Give it a freaking there. You have to apparently toss it into your opponent's back. Oh, okay. That would be a little difficult then. That's a neat premise. I can't think of another game that's quite like this. Jalico with the originality after making seven baseball games. I ain't complaining. 
Oh, there's power downs? Of course there is. Come on, man. You can do it. I don't think I'm an expert at Plasma Ball. I don't think you are, too. I don't think I'm gonna be. Alright, tentative recommendation for Plasma Ball. If this looks interesting, check it out. It seems... okay. It's got really smooth rotation, yeah. Yeah. How about Rampart? Finally. Or the Rampart Sweet something. <laughs> I'm not gonna... You don't know the lyrics. Oof, to you? <laughs> oh, the Ramparts we won. Uh, we're so gallantly streaming. Thanks. And the rocket's yes, red glare, bunch of bombs in the air, gave proof to the night that we still had a flag. That's it. I really was happy that we still had a flag. <laughs> I was like, I hope my flag's not gonna go away. But it didn't. Alright, so like Cyberball, this is another port of a late, air, late 80s, early 90s Atari arcade game. And this is kind of an odd one, because... It's a mixture of real-time strategy and Tetris, of all things. Because what you gotta do is you gotta fire at these incoming ships using your cannons. And they can do the same thing. And then between rounds you have to rebuild your castle using Tetris blocks. That's interesting. Yeah. In arcades this was multiplayer for up to three players. And it was controlled by Trackball. So this is a pretty memorable game if you've ever seen it. My arcade actually had this as a kid, so I did play this. And if you have enough time, you can actually expand your castle and build more uh, areas to put freaking cannons into. Freaking cannons, man. Freaking cannons. Oh, here come the ships. There we go. Oh, this castle's badass now. Castle is... That's a... It's a little bit of an interesting design there. I think it's great. Especially because I built it. Alright, you want this to go to 20 minutes because we're smashing two things together? Yeah, why not? Okay, because we're at 10 we're Let's break minutes, the rules. Yeah. And see these other areas you fill in, you can put cannons into. Oh, cool. The idea is you want to space out your cannons so the enemy ships can't kill them all at once. You know what? This port ain't bad. I'm actually able to do everything I want to do, which is not something you can say for all the ports of Rampart. Also, you gotta capture more castles behind your walls, dude. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. The important thing is to get your main castle built. Alright, here you go. There. There, you got one piece here. There you go. Can I do it? 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, time, seconds. Did it! Paying attention. Good job! <laughs> Did you fuck up counting? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, just... I certainly did. You know, if it's gonna happen, it has to happen on a Jalico stream. Of course. And eventually you get more cannons, more armaments, that kind of thing. I really like... Rampart. I'm gonna play a ton of it if you, you let are. me. We gotta move on. That's, That's not a bad port. Let's see how Rodland fares. Now this is a weird one. This was only released in Japan and Europe, and it was actually from a European developer, The Sales Curve. The original Rodland actually was a Jalico arcade game. For whatever reason, they just farmed it out to European company for the NES one. Wait, that's not what I want to do. I wanted to show something off. Okay, do it. There's an Easter egg in this game. Oh, I know what it is. You control two characters named Rit and Tam. And if you're in the UK, you may be tempted to rename Rit to something a bit naughty. <laughs> like Tit. And when that happens, she blushes. <laughs> ah, she is blushing. <laughs> Can you rename it to like... Uh... Like ass? Yeah, we're gonna it ass. Alright, let's see how she Does likes she ass. blush it ass? Does he blush it blush it ass or no? Okay. No blushing. That's fine. Ass is a healthy name. Ass is featuring ass and tail. <laughs> it changes the title screen. <laughs> That's pretty good. I ass! Love ass! I love that it changes the title screen. That just makes it all the more worthwhile. 
So, Rodland is kind of a bubble bobble style game. It's a single screen action arcade style thing where you gotta kill all the enemies in each level. Or you can collect all the flowers and get extra game. I think you capture them and just beat the shit out of them. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's how Ass does things downtown. I'm gonna have to think of a, a better name for Tam as well, so I can have a really fucked up title screen. <laughs> Alright, I hadn't played much of this port before, but this seems decent. You can it do is... everything you did in the original arcade game. It's got... Alright, it's got that power up. It's also one of the more expensive European NES games, if you want to go looking for it. It's like this and Mr. Gimmick are the, the rarest ones. Thank right, you. We're hitting, we're hitting 15 minutes here, so we're gonna have to speed through these and... Tokon Club! Ooh. You know what Tokon is, Alex? Absolutely fucking not. It's wrestling. Oh, okay, good. Uh, well, I've decided to put 15 more minutes on the clock. Uh... This character is the Bratty? Iron... Ribs? <laughs> oh, I love all these fake wrestlers! This is Black... Bodyun? General, this is General Gigabin. <laughs> These names are pretty disappointing. I'm just gonna pick this guy. Welcome to the Jalico Pro Wrestling Association. God, I wish. Look at my dude. What is wrong what with my is dude? Your oh my oh, god. Oh, whoa. What the hell was that? Jalico, please do your own wrestling league. Jalico, please do this. Uh,. Jalico, uh, why didn't you make a million wrestling games instead of baseball? Hey, uh, City Connection, Claris Works, uh, Claris Games, all of y'all, uh, make your own wrestling league or, like, sponsor wrestling league or do something oh. like that. I'm doing good. I really like the rotation effect. I, that's super unusual for Famicom. That is a really nice looking effect, too. Look at that. This is great. This plays really well. Oh, here we go. Go with the slam. Can we get the pin? I flew out of the ring! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this has to be one of the more advanced developers Jalica was working with. This has to be like ICOM or some shit. No, let me back... Let me in the, let uh, me in the ring! It's Natsume. It is Natsume, huh? Natsume, yeah. Well, they know how to make them. They really do. Threw me out of the ring. Give me the count out. Uh, what's the name of this game again, Danny? This game is called Tokon Club. So check it out. A later era Jalico game that's actually really good? Unbelievable. Speaking of which... Oh, really? Young Indiana Jones. Finally. Indiana now... Jones babies. They'll do the same for you. <laughs> When your world looks kind of weird and you wish you weren't- you Oh my god, my world does look kind of weird! And I do wish I wasn't he there! Hello there, I'm Indiana Jones, and I'm 200 years old! He's like made out of beef jerky, shout out! I vacationed in Mexico during the Mexican Civil War! It was a pretty bad idea! Uh-huh. Wait, is he- is he teaming up? Uh-huh. He's- he's- he's not- he's teaming up with Pancho Villa, right? Cause... Please, please, okay. Good, okay. But no! Poncho... Nice. We're gonna have to take down the evil Pancho Villa. No, that guy kicks ass! Oh, come on! Pancho <laughs> Villa kicks ass! You know I don't want to most... have to fight against Pancho Villa. The most surprising part of this game? It's not terrible. This actually plays pretty decently. You got a whip like in Castlevania. You can go into buildings and get stuff. And unlike every other Indiana Jones game for the NES, this one isn't total shit. I know there was an Ubisoft one. Uh, there was the terrible Tengen one, of course. I think Taito also made a Last Crusade game that wasn't completely awful, but still, this is by far the best. Mostly because they didn't try to do anything special with this, they just made it a side-scroller. And sure, it's a very brown and yellow side-scroller, but <laughs> it plays decently. I just don't that. think Indiana Jones would be against Pancho Villa, is the thing. Well, have you ever seen the young Indiana Jones Chronicles? Oh god, is he... is he... 
Well, okay, I haven't, and I gotta say, if he was... I haven't either. Indy, get your shit together. Oh, look at that little horse sprite. That horse is really cute. Oh, can I get the horse? The horse killed me! The horse just <laughs> killed the shit out of Indiana Jones! <laughs> It's been a long day for Indiana Jones. I think it's time for him to call it quits. All right. And we got one more year to go. We got 1993. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give us a whole 15 minutes for it. All Screw right. Screw it. All right. Let Good me choice, just... because this is the biggest and best year for Jalico of them all. Jalico Games in 1993, sending off the NES in a big way with pro sport hockey. Yes! <laughs> Their very last game for the NES is a freaking hockey game. At, le at least it's NHL licensed. Looks pretty okay. This looks like it's from the creators of the goal games. It has uh, similar menus. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is any good or not. Boy, we're going into overtime for this stream. Also, we played like 70 games. <laughs> oh, here we go. Give me the puck. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Shoot! Alex, where's the music? Uh, I'll sing you music if you want. Uh... Dun, 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 No, 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 that's not the game they play. That's not the song they play at hockey. Oh. They play this song uh, before every hockey game. That's a good sports song, but how about... Yeah, it plays was, for every hockey game. I was hoping you would sing the hockey song by Neil Perch. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Rush's, me. Rush's drummer composed the national hockey music for Canada. <laughs> it's called the hockey song. Oh, I got dinged for elbowing. Oh, man, he's pissed. <laughs> he's, he's hanging on the window. All right. Presentation wise, this game isn't so bad. It's got a lot of characters on screen at once. The action isn't terrible. It's got a pretty good rendition of Round Ball Rock for some reason. <laughs> uh, Ragu, what is the Hockey Night in Canada song? Send me that. Send that to me. I, I've I've actually been curious. Oh, that was a good shot. What do you? What What is your? What is the Canadian version of Round 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 Ball Rock? I kept wanting to call it Round Rock Ball, and that's an entirely different thing. All this game is is dudes being sent to the penalty box. That makes sense. Well, this game's only crime is not being Nintendo Ice Hockey or Blades of Steel. Those are by far the best NES hockey okay. games. But if you're forced to play this, it won't be so bad, because this game's pretty good. It's just another sports game from Jalico. Okay, someone someone count. How many sports games did we play tonight? Oh, God. At least a dozen. It has to be at least a dozen. You definitely played over 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 six. I tried to shoot that one into the stands. Yeah. I did it! I did it! I got a goal! Sound like a cat meowing. <laughs> I win a free cat! <laughs> Man, cool. no wonder hockey players are so violent. They really want those cats. <laughs> All right, so that was the very last NES game Jalico released, and also their only game in 93. After that, they switched exclusively to Super Nintendo, and later PlayStation, with such hits as Punky Skunk. So, a good future ahead of them. But they had one more game released in Japan. They had to send off the Famicom with one final game. And it's a golf game. Believe it or not, they didn't make any other golf games before this. They waited until 19 freaking 93 to make a golf game on the Famicom. Uh, the one Jalico game missing tonight was War on Wheels, by the way. Oh shit, you're right! You did miss War on Wheels. That one was unreleased. Maybe I have it on this console? Maybe, you should find it. We got... Yeah, why not? We're running overtime! This is way off the rails. <laughs> Working overtime, work out! Da -na -na -na. All right, so... Uh, in terms of golf games, this isn't terrible, I guess. But, Alex, as a viewer of Crontendo, can you tell me how many golf games for the Famicom preceded this? Uh, a, a lot. <laughs> Several dozen. Several. Several. Yeah, we're at the... Uh, 
Dr. Sparkle has reached the point in Nintendo history where every episode he has to cover like two or three golf games. Companies made so, so many of these. Often the same company would just release a golf game every single year because they kept selling. Yeah, yeah, game tapes, golf games have not really changed their format. Yeah, this has ever. the same three-click formula as every other game. Oh, it's gonna golf, go in the Golf, bunker. golf, golf. Golf, 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 golf. Golf, 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 golf. Ian Bunker is what she says. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she's being sexy about it. I don't know why you're pronouncing or I, why you're enunciating like that, Danny. That's what she said. She said Ian. All right, maybe that was what the game brought to the table compared to every other golf game. But this is how Jalico's legacy on the NES ends, with a pair of sports games. And really, how appropriate is that, considering they released a Bases Loaded like every fucking year? Of course they had to end with some sports games. It's just a shame that they're these sports games, because they're kind of unremarkable. Though at least this game has a patter. You see that? Oh my god, it does. The pitter-patter of Jalico games. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, for fuck's sake! Close, but no cigar, like Jalico itself. Yeah, so how would you sum up the games we've seen tonight, Alex? Um... There's some pretty decent ones, some games with some good ideas. Uh, occasionally games made by Atlas and Natsume, which is good. I liked when the games are good. But boy, we saw a lot of Tosei games. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, so many Tosei games. Did we need that many? I say yes. I... I guess so. I'm gonna hit this fucker in the lake. Well, the way I see it is Tosei made, uh, rocket slime, so Tosei can do whatever the fuck it wants. I don't oh, care. Oh, that's right. They get immunity from everything. They get immunity from me for, like, the rest of my life. Right in the lake. Damn. I've disappointed everyone. But you know what's not disappointing? What? The roller derby. Uh, if you want to play War on Wheels, go to dreaminfriends.com, because that's where the ROM is. The ROM is not here on this Nintendo Wii. It's on your fucking website. It's on my fucking website. <laughs> Hold on, I lied. I found it. Oh, Danny found it. Never mind. You should still go to dreaminfriends.com, though. Yeah, just go there. It's really good. All right, you got five minutes for War on Wheels. Thank you. So this is also made by Sculptured Software, so they were going to make another one. Uh, are we gonna be the L.A. Illegals? Oh, I don't that's, like that. that's not good. That Boston Blue sucks. Blood, okay. Philly Fangs, Oakland Outlaws, Thanks. the Miami Mamers, which is pretty good, Chicago Crush, New York Nasties, or the Atlanta Arsenic. I like Atlanta Arsenic. <laughs> Let's be the Atlanta Arsenic. What was... Oh, it was Metal Mech. Metal Mech was the other game that Sculptured Software made for Jalico. And I guess they just didn't really have faith in this game. Which is a shame, because this would have been, as far as I know, the only roller derby game for the NES. Uh, there's your there's your War on Wheels article. Yeah, if you want to know more about this game, uh, visit that article that Alex linked. Yeah. With a fancy sound effect. That's all I got. So now, this is just, it's just this roller derby, huh? Yes! And I should note, there was a Roller Games game for NES, but that was a side-scrolling beat-em-up. While this is straight-up Roller Derby. You go around the track, you hit a bunch of people, and there's rules, but nobody really knows what they are, and it kind of doesn't matter anyway. That's, that's basically, having seen Roller Derby live, that's basically Roller Derby. They do have Roller Derby here in Austin sometimes. Oh, they certainly do! Actually, Roller Derby is, uh, Austin is where they filmed that a &E series Roller Girls and a few others. Like, oh, actually, right. the, yeah, the Roller Derby scene in Austin's pretty, uh, I hate to call it historically important, but historically important for the 2000s, oh. uh, revival of Roller Derby in America. Yeah. A lot of that originated here, and, uh, yeah, Austin's got a few... They have multiple roller derby leagues in town. Way to go, Austin. And I'm pretty sure it actually has a... Uh, I think one of the roller derby leagues is actually owned by the players themselves, too, which is oh. pretty cool, yeah. So if this had come out, this would have been contemporary with the one season that roller games had. Uh, very briefly, they revised... They brought back roller derby for a nationally syndicated TV show called Roller Games. And that lasted one season. <laughs> that was enough for them to make an NES game out of it, as well as a really good pinball game. 
do check out that Bally table based on roller games. It's pretty good. I am surprised. And it was almost an NES game. Well, not roller games. This is like bootleg roller games. But still, the demand for roller derby was there. The people were hungry. But Jalico, they just let him go hungry. Nowadays, if you want your uh, roller derby... If you want your roller derby fixed, you gotta come down to Austin. You do. Uh, is roller derby fixed? Um, people say that it. People say current roller derby is not. But I'm gonna go out. I'm sorry to all the roller derby players who are watching, but yeah, it's still pretty. It's not like it was, but it's it's still. When I saw it, I was like, this seems a little. As far as I know, it's it's in the same vein as sports entertainment. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. definitely like wrestling and other kind of whatever, although not as scripted as wrestling. So, <laughs> wow! Cool. Changed my mind. This game rules. Whoa, she's oh, kicking it's your ass! Fun. Oh, she's really kicking my ass. Oh my god. She's got nails. Look at that. Oh, and the arsenic goes down. And then she tripped over me. <laughs> Alex, I don't know what's going on here, but I like this. It's good. Maybe they should have released this. As it is, I'm really happy we found a prototype for this. This is a game we knew about for years and years. It was previewed in magazines, had screenshots. We knew there was even prototypes out there, but nobody was sharing. All right, you got a minute. You got a minute of roller derby left. And then what happened, I think, is people made repros of this. And... Oh, maybe I'm mixing this up with another site, but what they did is they actually had an open directory on their website where they had all their prototype games that they made repros of just up for download, and that's where people got them from. It's hard to say if it was intentional or not, but it feels pretty intentional, and if it was intentional, thank you for releasing this. Thank you. If it wasn't intentional, uh, my bad. <laughs> In any case, it's out there now, and you can play it. And it's Roller Derby on NES. And as you play more quarters, the levels start to get more complex. They start to get all fucked up. The crowd starts throwing grenades at you, I think. It's like real Roller Derby. Yeah, I, I remember the complimentary g grenades I was handed when I uh, watched Roller Derby. Mm -hmm. Free grenades for all. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Splat. Oh, rip. I really like those cutscenes. Those cutscenes are probably the best part of the game. And there's fighting, but it's kind of bad. All right, we hit five minutes. All right, here you go. This is that's ro that's war on wheels, that's roller derby, and that's Jalico. Oh so what God, do y'all think? Never Jalico. Uh, you have now seen every single Jalico game made for NES. What's the verdict? You know what? I love Jalico. They have spunk. They do. I don't know what else to say. They got a lot of spunk. They do stuff no other company does. Like, other companies wouldn't even have one judo game, and Jalico had two. They had a billion baseball games, back when people needed baseball games for NES. They were what we needed when we needed it. And for that, I'm grateful. <laughs> Thank Me you, too. Jalico. And I thank them for at least being it. Like... Say what you will about them, but you play all these games, and you can at least remember some of this shit. Like, I will never forget Stepping Selection. I oh, am... yeah. Jalico games are odd in a memorable sort of way, and that makes them kind of endearing. Mm -hmm. I like them. 